hello friends myself gaurav jagdish patak and today i welcome all of you in the engineering thermodynamics and the name of the topic of the today is the pure substance and the properties of pure substance now we have considered the matter and it is uniform throughout now the matter is heterogeneous mixture of various particle and homogeneous mixtures of various particle homogeneous particle have further classified in separated by the physical means and the physical means separated are pure substance and homogeneous mixtures are the solutions which is mixed with one or more than one solutions now if the pure substance can be decomposed into other substances by the chemical process that is elements and compounds the homogeneous substances we can say it means the element and it is only one type of atom if we have consider the compound then two or more chemically combined elements not easily separated from each other water that is carbon dioxide the solutions are the special kind of mixtures of two phase part which are solute dissolves and solvent dis- does the dissolving the moist air stirring silver are the two matters of that particular sub solutions the example of hono- homogeneous mixture we can say as the salt dissolve in water agar dissolve in water apple juice these are the examples of the examples of the homogeneous mixture the tea everybody we have take is the best example of homogeneous mixtures of water sugar and the milk these are the mixture the copper sulfate solution into the water various alloys material and these are example of consideration for the substances now what is we can say about the pure substance a pure substance of the constant chemical composition throughout its mass is called the pure substance it is one of the component system that may be exist in one or more phases here we take as water as the representative of pure substance then the substance exist in the different phases for example at the room temperature and pressure copper is the solid and mercury is the liquid so it can be exist in different phases like solid gas or liquid there are three principal phases mainly of any kind of substance that is solid liquid and gas but here we consider only water is the single part that will be have all three phases that is in solid phase it is ice in liquid phase it is simple water and it is gaseous form of the water is a vapor or we can say the steam each with the different molecular structure and the triple line point we can say the area where all three phases can be exist that is on pv diagram and temperature volume diagram the pv the point at which the area where all three phases can be exist now the two ways of substance can go from solid to vapor that is it's melts to the liquid then vaporizes to the vapor and evaporate directly with or without first melting the sublimation that happens of pressure below the triple point value is solid liquid and gases now we can consider the pv diagram for pure substance that is assume a unit mass of ice that is solid water at minus 10 degree celsius and one atom of contained in the cylinder cylinder and piston machine let the ice to be heated 
slowly so that its temperature is always uniform. The temperature of ice increases from minus 10 degree to 0 degree and the volume of ice would be increases as would be the case of any solid heating. At the stage 2 that is at 0 degree Celsius the ice will be become into start melting and it will be start to convert into form of water that is liquid form. Now at point 2 to 3 ice melts into the water at the constant temperature of 0 degree Celsius and at the stage 3 the melting process ends. This is the decrease in volume which is the particularly of water. From point 3 to 4 the temperature of water increases upon heating from 0 to 100 degree Celsius. The volume of the water increases because the thermal expansion and at the process point 4 to 5 the water start to boiling and at stage 4 the boiling ends at the state 5. This phase change from liquid to vapor occurs and at the constant temperature of 100 degree Celsius there is the large increase in volume of water. At the last stage from point 5 to 6 the vapor is heated about 250 degree Celsius and vapor of vapor formation is increases from V5 to V6. All these stages are changes of system and can be similarly plotted on PV coordinates when it is heated and different constant pressure. All the saturated solid state 2 or various pressure are joined by the line. The line diagram you can see into PV diagram the various state and various points we have considered from 1 to 6 are plotted. Now the relationship between the pressure and the specific volume and temperature of the three dimension PVTS system of the surface. There are two different surfaces for the bar. There are two different surfaces for the different substances of PVTS surface which expands upon freezing of water which contracts upon freezing other than water. Now, how the surface get expanded that any point on PVTS diagram represent the equilibrium state of the substance. The triple point line when the projected to the PVTS plane it becomes a point that critical isotherm has the point of interfection at the critical point. This is all about the basic phase change of water from the substance which is purest form. Thank you friends. Thank you very much.